So we open with Latrice's man asking her, you sure you want to get married, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. She's like, look, my husband pulled the old switcheroo, so I, I'm trepidated. Trepidated. After that, we head over to Nell and Chris. Nell talking about she want a new closet, and Chris said he'll get some estimates. What money you gonna use? Because Carlos ain't paying y'all shit. 2500 Maybe you could get some organizers. However, Nell gone busy by and tried to get Tisha and Stormy talking again since they had a good blowout at the reunion. Meanwhile, across town, we have Kimmy and Maurice going out to dinner with Mealy Mouth Tisha and Big Ugly Marceau. And Kimmy like, look, I want to throw you this business, but I need my shit done on time. And I mean, we know his projects go long and slow. Look at that house. Marceau's like, look, we actually move when we get paid to do stuff, but things we do on our own, we take our time. Okay, girl. However, Kimmy said, look, I'm going to take a couple other bids and we'll just see where you fall. Over at the gym, Courtney and Ken, Stormy's man, not Stormy, um, Trisha's man, they meeting up. So Trisha man whining that she still ain't got a divorce yet, but y'all calm down. She going to get one and y'all will get married on the show. I don't think we've had a wedding on a Carlos King production, but then again, at 2500 an episode, I don't know what type of wedding you going to have. I don't even think the Justice of the Peace would take 2500 So Marceau and Tisha and Kimmy and Maurice are in a party bus on the way to Nell's affair. And Marceau and Tisha got an invitation from Stormy and Courtney. And they're like, last time we spoke, we was yelling. I, I don't know. I don't be taking invitations from people I cussed out. Me either. So we get to the party, child Mel in a lavender bodysuit. She don't look bad. She does look foolish. It's like if you were giving a concert, this would be great. But you're not on stage, Heffa. And you may be the star of this show, but that's like being a star, which is really a hole in a piece of black construction paper that kids hold up to the light. That's the kind of star you are. But you're a biggin'. You're a biggin'. So then Tisha runs up. And tries to get Mel and Marceau to talk. She's like, I'm at the club. I'll address that at another time. Yeah, this is a birthday party. Don't nobody want to hear from you, Mealy Mouth Tisha. But we having a good time at Nell's party. The girls are bonding. And then Mel starts asking Trisha about herself. And she says, oh, that's right. I am still married. When did y'all start the paperwork? Why are y'all so invested in somebody else's paperwork? Oh, Lord. But now Mealy Mouth Tisha and call Nell feisty and Nell says well you ain't feisty she ain't feisty now Nell getting upset Tisha calling her La Nell but then Tisha brings up well weird weird is the invitation I got from Stormy we haven't spoken in months but you want to spend Valentine's Day with me Tisha said well the things you said at the reunion weren't friendly what did I say you told me to go pop some pills so what did I say tell me what you meant by go pop some pills Stormy gonna whoop her ass. All right, let's get to the next heifer so. Cause it's an auntie Saturday. So now Quad and Carrie get into it over psychiatry and don't try to, and don't try to downplay psychiatry. I mean, I, I won't, but let's also not act like orthopedic surgeons don't make four times what psychiatrists make. But then Quad foolishly said, well, where are you, honey, in somebody's anorexic clinic? You don't make fun of people's eating disorders or perceived eating disorders. You just don't. And also calling someone anorexic isn't an insult. Now, if you're a piece of shit human being, we can talk about you all day and all night. We can turn you into a creative exercise. If your habits are very similar to that of a viper or any other kind of snake, I feel free to make fun of your behavior, of your morals or lack thereof, of your lack of honesty, of your lack of integrity, of your lack of humanity. Now that you can make fun of all day and all night. You can make fun of their poor choices in life and love. Now a shitty dye job, a poor wig, a weak seed. Make fun of it all day because you chose that. You spent your hard-earned money on that. And look at you. Stuff like that, 
it's not funny. It speaks much more of your character than of theirs. Toya with her husband, who would be nice to have some more income in the house because we travel and we build in the house. Oh, please, you're going to build a house every year. Get used to it, Ethel. Over with our scissor sisters scissoring in a circle, Jackie and Simone. Jackie and Simone. They're giving us frenemy more than friend. I have to say, Mariah and Aiden's relationship is sweet, and they still together. Off the show, but still together. Well, now apparently Carrie has sent Quad a text. So Carrie and Toya are at lunch talking about it. Carrie says Quad is deep and devious. And you're a fried hater. Carrie told Quad, you're a low-class person who insulted my family. You mean your husband's second family. That's what you mean. Or your second family. I can't keep up with your medical mistressness. So Carrie now uninvites her to her and Toya's joint birthday party. So they piss they gotta put up with Quad. Y'all some hateful harpies. So Quad and Mariah go for a walk in the park and Mariah finds out that Quad's been uninvited to the party because it's at that heifer house. Well, that was the shit and I'll see you soon for something. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, about the unit. We gotta address what the hell's on your head. Say it again. We got to address what the hell is on your head. One more time. What the fuck is that? Is it a welcome mat? Is that a dead cat? We gotta talk about the unit, yeah. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It's just, it's been in my head for years. I, I figured I'd do something with it today. I, I had a few moments. From the streets of New York all the way out to Vegas. It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're famous. Because you can't get someone pregnant in the anus. No, you can't get someone pregnant in the anus. Yeah, yeah. Backpedal and pussy pop. Backpedal and pussy pop. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be. My ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be my ass. Okay, she got a hit with that one. Oh, wait, no, that was me. That was me. Anyway, it don't matter. So as my mugs say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.